Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to make this adorable DIY pet photo frame display. The first thing that you'll need is a deep photo frame and this one is from Ikea. Next you'll need a guillotine to cut the pictures neatly. You'll need some card for the background, some nice card for the background or some wallpaper, some string, some miniature pegs and some pictures of your choice. Firstly what I did was printed off loads of pictures of the guinea pigs and other pets onto this special photographic card and this card just makes it look better quality and gives it that more professional look. Now I'm just chopping the pictures into smaller groups and this makes it a lot easier when it comes to putting them on the guillotine so it's a lot easier to work with if you just do it this way first. So just kind of group them off and it doesn't have to be really accurate just as long as they're in smaller sections and it's just grouped together. Also if you're younger make sure to get adult supervision if you're using scissors. So now I'm using the guillotine and you kind of have to be very accurate with this and make sure you've got all the white edges off and you need to be kind of neat when you're doing it so it's not like on an angle, you want it to be as straight as possible so as you can see I've just lined it up and then just chopped it. This is what all the pictures should look like once you've chopped them all up on the guillotine. Now what you can do is just arrange all the pictures on the photo frame and this just gives you a good idea of what it's going to look like and how much space you'll need. After that you will need a pencil to draw the lines around the wooden border so you just trace the outline of that and then what you need to do is just cut along the lines that you've drawn. Once you've cut out the cardboard you need to try it and see if it fits inside the frame just to make sure that it's going to sit nicely before you do anything else. The next thing you'll need to do is find your wallpaper or card. I've just picked this really nice wallpaper to go in the background of my photo frame. You need to find the section of the wallpaper that you like the best and then what you want to do is trace around your cardboard cutout and then you need to cut out what you've made the outline on. So if you made it on the wallpaper then you cut out the wallpaper or if you made it on the card you need to cut out the card. The next job is to glue around the edges and in the middle of the wallpaper or the card and then you've got to stick this to the cardboard so just make sure you've put enough glue on and just use the regular Pritt stick glue and make sure that it's going to stay on and it's not just going to peel off the cardboard. After you've done that you need to measure out your string so just make sure it's over the edges of both sides of the cardboard and leave about two centimeters and then you're going to cut the string and after you've cut the string what you want to do is sell take the sides down to ensure it's secure enough and it's not going to fall off. Next you will need the miniature pegs and you can just arrange the pictures in any order that you want and clip them onto the pegs so you need to make sure that they're securely on the line and they're not going to fall off or anything and just arrange them so you've got enough space to put all the other pictures but they look nice spaced out and if you think you're not going to have enough room then just don't use the pictures that you don't want. Once you've finished that it should look something like this. Mm -hmm. 
I'm just checking the cardboard for fit to make sure that it's going to fit on with the wooden frame as well so you just need to do this to make sure that it's all going to turn out right before you do anything like push the little pegs down on the back of the frame. The next thing that you need to do is push these little pegs down on the back of the frame and this just holds the whole picture in place. So before you do this make sure everything on the front is in the order that you want it to be because it's very hard to go back after this step. So we've just put the picture up now and I thought I'd show you what it looks like in the shed. So we we'll just put it on this little wall here. So I'll just show you some of the pictures in it. Here we have Oreo, there's Ruby, Pudsy, Jasper when he was a little kitten, Pudsy, Jasper, Millie, Rolo and Bromley. So I thought this was such a cute idea and I hope I've inspired you to make it yourself and it's really worth doing because it's so cheap and easy and it's so much fun to do and it's such a cute accessory um, somewhere like this or just in your bedroom so it's a really nice idea and you can also make it with other pictures it doesn't have to be pet pictures but I thought it just looked really nice with little pet pictures in especially as I have a pet channel so it just kind of fit the category I've also just made another one and this one has two rows instead of three rows so I'll just show you what we've got in here so there is Rolo and Ruby then there's me and Bramley. There's Oreo and Millie when they were little babies, and that is like such an adorable picture. I love that. There's me and Pudsy. There's all the girls and Rolo, and then there's all the girls and Rolo again. So yeah, pretty much the same. It's got the same backgrounds and just the same wallpaper. So yeah, not really sure where to hang this. It's either going to go underneath this one, so like a feature wall there or over there as well so I can't really decide at the minute but yes they'll both look really nice together so yeah thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video bye guys